Let me show you how you can get more streams for your music for every fan you're sending over into Spotify. Hey, it's John here at Hypedit, and in this video, I want to show you how you can get more streams for your music from every fan you're sending over into Spotify. There are just two pieces to this, the strategy and the tactic, and in this video, I want to cover both for you. So let's start with the strategy. How can you make sure every fan coming into Spotify gives you more streams than before? What a lot of music artists do is they send fans directly to the URL of a track on Spotify. And what happens in that case is that Spotify will open the track and will open it on the page of the release. So let's say you have released a single, the single has one track on it, maybe two, maybe three tracks. This is where fans land. So unless they browse to any other part of Spotify that has your music, at a maximum, they can stream that one track that you sent them to, and maybe a second or a third track of that single. So the number of streams that you can pick up unless you get a lot of repeat streams, is relatively limited. So what I've seen work really well and has actually personally gotten me an average of 10 streams per listener. And I've been working with artists who have now gotten over 20 streams per listener using this method is the following. Instead of sending fans directly to a song or to a release on Spotify, send your fans to a playlist. And ideally you wanna build a playlist that has mostly your music on it or even all of your music on it. If you have 10, 20, 30 releases or tracks out on Spotify, build a playlist that has all of your songs. You can call it a this is, insert your artist name playlist. You can call it a best of, insert your artist name, however you want to call it, but make it a playlist that is branded all about you and then has all of your music on it. So whenever you send fans to one of your tracks on that playlist and they just keep listening without browsing away, right now they're gonna leave you five streams, 10 streams, 15 streams, it just goes up and up. And this is a surefire way in which you can get a lot more streams from every one of your listeners on Spotify and specifically fans that you're sending to Spotify from another traffic source, right? Whether that be ads, whether that be an email campaign, or social media posts, what have you. So that's the strategy. That's how you can get more streams out of every listener. But now let's talk about the tactic because if you have a playlist that has all of your tracks on it and you are trying to promote different tracks of your playlist, how can you send fans to a specific track on a playlist, all right? And this is something that can be done by deep linking to songs on playlists. There's a little trick you can use by modifying the URL that Spotify gives you for a song and for a playlist and combine it in a way that Spotify will actually take that incoming traffic and send it directly to a specific track on a playlist. And it doesn't even have to be the first track. It can be a track at any position of that playlist. So let me show you how to put one of those URLs together. It's really easy. You can do it yourself with just a little bit of copy pasting. And I want to show it to you step by step. So let's hop over to the screen and I'll walk you through it. So we're at my screen and I have two things open right now. One is the Spotify app right here and the other one is an example of one of those deep links that goes directly to a specific track on a playlist. But let me explain the setup a little bit further so you know exactly what's going on. So first of all, this is my This Is John Gold playlist. All right, this is a playlist that has only my music on it. and. Whether you're gonna call this a this is artist name playlist, best of artist name, or essential tracks by artist name, whatever you wanna call it, I recommend you put one of those playlists together with all of your songs on it. Now, Spotify also generates some of these playlists for you automatically, right? There are lots of artists out there if they have a critical number of tracks on Spotify. Spotify will automatically generate a this is artist name playlist for you. But even if you have one of those, I recommend that when it comes to promoting your music actively outside of Spotify with fan traffic being sent into Spotify, that you create a playlist yourself with all of your tracks on it. And the reason why is that only if it's a playlist that you set up, do you control its content. So for example, when I have a new release coming out, usually I wanna make sure that is the first track on my This Is playlist. So I'm gonna be able to put the track in whatever position I wanna have it. 
I also strategically move the tracks that have proven to be more popular songs of mine, I move them more to the top of the playlist and I move less popular songs further down the playlist. So I have full control over what is on the playlist and in which order. And this is something that you want to do as well. So don't just rely on anything auto generated for you by Spotify, create your own playlist with your songs on it. That's first. And then second, here's the example of one of those deep links to a particular track on Spotify. And first, let me show you how it works. And then we're going to take this apart and build one of those links from scratch so that you can follow along. So this particular link here plays the track Good Time on this playlist. It is specifically programmed when clicked to take somebody to this playlist and then immediately start playing this track. And why is this so valuable? It's so valuable because if a fan comes here without this link, they have two options, right? They can either click the play button on top here, which will usually either play the playlist from top. So we'll start with this track or pick a random track off the playlist, depending on their Spotify subscription tier and whether they are set up to play tracks randomly or in sequence. Or the fan could randomly scroll through the list and manually start playing any of these tracks. But it's very unlikely that the track that you want to promote the most, that you want to have pick up the most streams, is the first one they play, unless it's the first one on the playlist. But with this trick that I'm showing you, you can send fans to any track on a playlist directly. So in my example, it's the track Good Time on this playlist that's going to start playing. And to demo this, let me just go to a different playlist right now. This is one of Spotify's playlists, Piano House. I'm going to play a random track of this playlist. And now I'm going to come back and click this link and let's see what happens. Bam. All right. It takes us to the This Is John Gold playlist and it starts playing the track Good Time, just as we want it. All right. So. Hope you can see how powerful of a tool this is for music promotion. And now let me show you how to set up one of these links in no time. This is how this is constructed. It's basically the link to a track on Spotify, right? Open.spotify.com. And then it's the ID of the track. And then here's the magic question mark context equals Spotify colon playlist colon and then the code to the playlist. All right. So let's build one of those ourselves. So let's say we want to create a link that sends fans to my track Twilight here, but not just the track Twilight, but the track Twilight on this particular playlist. So let me show you how to set this up step by step. First of all, you want to come over here to the three little dots here, click on share and copy the song link. I'm going to take the song link and we insert it here. What we need is basically the, the link all the way up to the ID of the track. What we don't need is the SI equals part. So I'm just going to delete this. Now we need the context part of the link. Actually, let me click on this here and then just grab it right from here. So I'm going to grab everything from context equals Spotify colon playlist colon. I'm going to put this right in here. Okay, perfect. And now what we need is the ID of the playlist that is the context. And it's the This is John Gold playlist. So I'm going to click on the three little dots here on the playlist, share, copy link to playlist. Now, because that one will come with all the HTTPS and everything, I'm just going to insert it into a different line right now. And then I'm just going to grab this part of it here with the ID all the way to the end of the link. I'm going to insert this here. And now we are almost ready. So now there's just one little tweak that you have to make. And this was a little bit of a stumbling block for me at first before I noticed what I was doing wrong. I don't want you to run into the same trouble with this and then think this link doesn't work. What you need to do here, see that last question mark in the link? This needs to be changed to the ampersand sign. All right. It only works if you change this. Now we got it as a hyperlink. I'm going to actually I'm going to browse away again. I'm going to go to any other track, any other playlist. All right. So now we're playing the track Mirrors on the Piano House playlist. Let's see if it takes us to the This Is John Gold playlist and playing the Twilight track directly. 
And there we go. All right, this is John Gold and it plays the track Twilight. All right, this is exactly what I want you to do. And just to make sure you know how to use this best, this works in the Spotify app. Right, these links, they don't change the behavior in the browser, but if you have a fan that's listening to Spotify on the app, whether it's on their mobile device or whether it is on their computer, this deep link works. It takes you directly to a track on any particular playlist where you have that track. And this is really a magic tool when it comes to promoting your music and making sure that you're gonna get more streams out of every listener and every fan that's coming to you on Spotify. I hope you enjoyed this video in which you discovered how to get more streams out of every fan that you're sending into Spotify. And look, if this is something that you wanna learn more about, if you wanna dive deeper into this and deploy strategies similar to this one and more to grow your fans, listeners, and streams on Spotify, then have a look at the Spotify growth engine. This is where you'll discover how I use just two simple tools Facebook and Instagram ads specifically tailored to music plus hyped it to grow from zero to now millions of streams on Spotify, hundreds of thousands of listeners and tens of thousands of fans in a very simple step-by-step -step way that is super replicable and works for any music genre. If this is something you want to explore for your music, get that growth on Spotify, then click the link that's all around this video here. It's going to take you to the landing page for the Spotify growth engine and I hope to see you on the inside. Cheers!